let's caffeinate. Hello everyone, happy 2019. This is my first video of 2019 and I'm super excited. It is New Year's Eve for me today, but you'll be seeing this in a few days. I hope that all of you had an amazing 2018. If you didn't have an amazing 2018, I get it and I understand. My 2017, <coughs> I've been sick. My 2017 was not my year at all. And I went into 2018, I had the worst stomach flu ever. And I was like, well, this is going to be a great year. And it honestly turned out to be one of the best years I've had. It was definitely one of the hardest in a lot of ways. I had a lot of personal growth that I went through this year and a lot of major life changes that happened this year. I got engaged. We moved to a new state. So there were definitely a lot of things that were amazing about this year, but a lot of things that were really challenging about this year, but they challenged me in ways that made me grow for the better. So I loved 2018. I had an amazing year. No matter what kind of a year you had, I hope that you have an amazing 2019. And I just kind of wanted to do some favorites. I used to do these religiously on the blog and I kind of fell off this year because there weren't a lot of things in my life that changed enough for me to do a monthly favorites. But looking back on the year as a whole, there are definitely some standout things. So I have three categories. I have beauty, skincare, kind of body products. I have just a few home products, which is like the most domestic thing I can do. But there are some really just a few key home products that I'd like to share. And then I have some food, which we all love food and drink. I only have three makeup products. If you've been with me for a long time, my Instagram handle used to be Bolt Blogs Beauty. And then it just turned to Bolt Blogs as I started talking about more and other things aside from just beauty. And um, I only have three beauty things this year. So first is the Sarah Happ Lip Slip. I am wearing that underneath the Fenty Beauty Gloss. And I got this, I only got this maybe back in November. Maybe it was like October, but I have literally used it every single day since. So this is my favorite lip combo. It just makes your lips look plump and juicy, but also very moisturizing. I love that this gloss, you can use it without anything underneath. They don't just feel tacky as the gloss starts to wear away. So these are my two favorite lip products. And then my only other favorite face product is um, the Hourglass Face Palette. I got the new one from the holidays. Honestly, my favorite, two of my three favorite products have come just within the last three months. And then this one's been my favorite all year. So I guess year long, this has been my only favorite beauty product. And these two just came along within the last few months. So like I said, beauty wasn't like major for me this year. Growing out my hair this year and I was attracted to the Love Beauty and Planet One at Target. I have the Shea Butter and Sandalwood shampoo and conditioner and Jacob has been using this as well so this is the only shampoo and conditioner in our shower which is nice. I like that you can recycle the bottles and it smells good. I've been growing out my hair. My hair is very long now. This is probably the longest my hair has ever been. I'm sure a lot of that is because I am no longer blonde and I'm no longer putting my hair through the trauma of being blonde every four months so that's probably why it's growing and why it's healthy. I'm about to go back to blonde next month. Next shower item is from Lush. This is scrub, 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 and holy crap, this stuff. It smells so good. It looks empty because it is like pitch black in there, but this is a, what's in here? Velvety blend, all greed. Sea salt, charcoal, and juicy blackberry. I don't know that I pick up on the blackberry. It's like sweet. I think it smells more tropical than blackberry. If you haven't tried a Lush product and you wanna try a Lush product, I would recommend starting with this. My other two favorite Lush products, I'll just own oh, three. The Rose Argan in body moisturizer, in shower body moisturizer, love that. And then my two favorite moisturizers or lotions are Sleepy, I use that every single bite and I swear by it. And then I also love Dream Cream. My favorite moisturizer this year, though, I got this in the summer in the Rachel Zoe box of style, was the Kate Somerville Exfoliate Glow Moisturizer. It smells like a spa. It smells so dang good. I literally have one use left, if you can see, down in the corner, 
which I'll be using tonight and I'm very very sad that this is all gone. I absolutely loved this moisturizer. I used this morning and night. I didn't find that it broke me out or I had any major issues so highly recommend. Last but not least, I discovered Mega Babe this year. I think a lot of people discovered Mega Babe this year. This is the Thigh Rescue Anti Shafe Stick. Chafe? Shafe? I don't know. It looks like deodorant. Kind of like a cleanish scent. Uh, I could not wear shorts or dresses without this. And a lot of times in the summer, I love, love wearing dresses, but I feel like I can't because by midday, I will be in pain on my inner thighs because of chafing. So, I mean, bless this. Bless you, Mega Babe. And then this is the Bust Dust, which I have a very small bosom, so I do not use this um, in my bust, but where I do use this, this is so TMI, is on my feet. My feet sweat like a pig. This stuff. If they have a smaller size, I need to pick up a smaller size for my purse. Laundry. I fell in love with the Method Fragrance Boosters. You just pour these little beads in your laundry and it smells extra, extra good. I like the ginger mango scent and I have the matching detergent too. Laundry boosters. Yay. Tide. We have carpet and in our last apartment we had hardwood and I loved it because I felt like I could really clean the hardwood. I'm kind of a clean freak. Welcome to my life. I have no way of confirming whether or not it kills 99.9% .9 of bacteria, but it truly helps me sleep better at night. Second to last are my two favorite candles. I have a whole video on my favorite candles down below. The first is Cinnamon Spice Vanilla. It's just the warmest, coziest scent. It's just, they could name this cozy. And then Georgia Peach just sneakily came back for the semi-annual sale. It just smells like a delicious ripe, juicy peach. This one I love burning when I want the room to feel bright and fresh. So both of these, my two, my number one, my number two favorite candles. Last for home are these coasters. I have some marble coasters, but I needed a few more. The marble coasters I had were sold out. So I found these at Nordstrom. Um, both Jacobs and my last name are B's. So that is convenient. This year I did a significantly better job of eating dairy free and I kind of went vegan on a lot of things that I was eating. Just cutting out on meat honestly has made me feel better. I don't know what like my stomach just feels better, just my body feels a little bit better. I'm still eating fish. Um, I haven't cut fish out but I really cut down on the dairy which has significantly helped with my acid reflux and I definitely have noticed the few times that I've like cheated this year I will wake up in the middle of the night with like if you have acid reflux, you know. I just don't feel very good when I eat dairy now. So, Innie's Vegan Mac. This stuff is real, real good. I tried the Daya one, and not only is it through the roof in calories compared to the Annie's, but I just think it's like, it's more similar to Velveeta, and I don't like Velveeta mac and cheese. If you like Velveeta mac and cheese, maybe you'll like the Daya one or Daya, I don't know how you pronounce it, but this one is definitely more similar to Kraft, so that I like. Last year at the beginning of the year, I was very big on the Ripple Pea Milk. My only problem with that is that it's a little thicker like whole milk, and I came from drinking skim milk, so it was a lot thicker than I was used to, and I didn't always like that, although I liked the taste of it. But I have found flax milk, and that I very much enjoy. This is the Good Karma brand. I also enjoy the Good Karma yogurt. So I get the vanilla plus protein. I've gotten the unsweetened one, and that one's perfectly fine, but I got the vanilla plus protein this time just to get a little extra protein in me. And uh, yeah, I like it. Speaking of protein, I am by no means like a workout bodybuilder protein shake type of person, but I will put a scoop of this in my coffee before or after I work out. And this is the Ali plant powdered protein. Uh, this one is pure chocolate. I mix a scoop of this. The serving size is two scoops. I've found that I don't like how it mixes in with the coffee with two scoops. I'm sure in a shake it would be fine. I just haven't done it in a shake yet but I mix um, a scoop of this in with my iced coffee, shake it up, drink it, it's delicious. This has been the protein powder I've been drinking. LaCroix, I have quit you and I have switched to bubbly. The bubbles are lighter 
they're softer, they're not as like attacky as a LaCroix. So I like this, I like the grapefruit flavor. Bubbly, I love you, you're great, you've beat out LaCroix. Oh my God, this stuff is addictive. This is dessert hummus, brownie batter hummus. I wanna say this was on Shark Tank, I think. You dip some strawberries in it. I also like to spread it on the um, Quaker chocolate rice cakes and then top it with strawberries or raspberries. So good. So this stuff is really great and you can have like chocolate covered strawberries that are a little bit healthier. 2018 has really been the year when I've found I'm a Malbec person. I like this one. This is Creus, Creos. I don't know. It's really delicious. It's almost always on sale at my liquor store for $12 and it's so good. It says to pair it with tuna steak, lamb, and hamburgers. I don't know. I think it's really good by itself with popcorn because I'm Olivia Pope. I hope that all of you have a wonderful, wonderful 2019. I can't wait to film more videos this year. I have the first two months planned out, so I will try my hardest to stay on track this year. I did a lot better over this past year, but I still know I want to improve and I'm really enjoying making videos now in front of this gorgeous big window. Uh, I need to play around with the background a little bit. I'm sure you guys are just sick of seeing my comforter. Maybe I need to get a new comforter. I don't know. We'll play around with that, but I hope that all of you have a beautiful 2019 and I will talk to you guys next week. Bye!